Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. He was nearly silenced by cancer, but 10 years after his diagnosis, Levon Helm, singer and drummer from the legendary rock group The Band, is back with a new album. Anthony Mason spoke to Helm about his miraculous comeback for CBS News Sunday morning. How did you find out? Well, that, that was my first, uh, you know, I, I got hoarse. And uh, usually through my life, I've been able to sing my way through any kind of throat trouble or hoarseness or what have you, cold or anything. And all of a sudden I couldn't. And the longer it went, the uh, less, you know, I just, all I could do was blow air. I couldn't get those vocal cords to vibrate. You had 28 radiation treatments? 28 radiation treatments, yeah. Each one compromising a period of how long? Well, you get five a week. You know, it's a, it's a daily basis. Did you go into that treatment thinking, you know, I'll never sing again? You know, I just, uh, I didn't even take it that far. I just went into it. I was just, you know, almost like you're bouncing off the walls in a way you don't figure much past the, the next meal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, uh, you know, tried to be as positive as I could and... Uh, and uh, say my prayers and uh, not give up hope. Mm -hmm. So you weren't aiming for anything particular, just to get just, through it. Just to get through it and and uh, and and live, and uh, and keep playing music. Yeah, everything and else is a bonus. Everything else was just gravy. Yeah. I imagine this would be traumatic for anybody, but you're a singer. Well, you know, I was lucky because I I've never. Uh, pictured myself or thought of myself, I've always thought of myself as the drummer. Right. And I would take my turn to sing whenever I had to, but right. uh, my joy is to play the drums, of course, and uh, the singing part was just uh, something that I glommed my way into. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, as long as I uh, wasn't on uh, at death's door, you know, I started to get pretty happy. I couldn't talk or laugh, but uh, Finally got so I could speak a little bit and laugh a lot, and uh, I was pretty happy. When you think about it, it's a pretty long road to this album, I guess, isn't it? It, it really, really is, yeah. You dedicate it to your parents. Yeah. Why is that? Well, my dad and my older sister gave me my first uh, musical understanding and uh, sang in uh, some of the old songs that we did on the album. Uh, was when I first started trying to sing harmonies and things like mm -hmm. that. And uh, that seemed to be the best place to start was those old tunes. Those were the ones that made me love music the so way you went, it, you went back to the beginning. So I went right back to the beginning and tried to make those tunes sound as good as I remember them sounding to me when I was a baby. What's it like to sing with your daughter on an album? Well, you know, that's the, that's the big payoff for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to get over my illness so that I could do that. I started trying to get my voice back when we had a little blues band called the Barn Burners, and uh, Amy and uh, Sammy, little Sammy Davis, were doing most of the vocalizing, and I would try and sing uh, harmony parts and uh, and double up their parts, and it finally got so it seemed like it, my voice wanted to come back, and. Uh, then we started swapping verses. You know, they'd do the main song and I'd help with a verse here and a verse there. And, and um, I wanted to get well enough to do that. I didn't think, I, I was happy to be the drummer. You know, that's really what I wanted to always do was drive and play drums. And uh, having Amy sing and having little Sammy sing, we weren't suffering for vocalist. So I had, uh, made a pretty good deal with myself. I, I turned out lucky. I, I wasn't going to die right away, and uh, I could still hear and, and play music. So I, I figured uh, giving up uh, the singing part uh, wouldn't be any kind of a great sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I'm not in love with listening to my voice, the sound of my voice anyway, so, <laughs> so it, wasn't, it wasn't too hard on me for that part. What was the, what was the hardest part um, for you that Amy helped you with in going through this? Pro probably uh, trying to explain myself musically, like you're working out a new song and you can't go ba-da-da-da-da. You can't do that. You can go 
<laughs> and, you know, I could write it down and I could whisper it to Amy and uh, halfway translate. I don't write music well enough to uh, hand it to you. And that was probably the most frustrating part. Where would you like to go from here? You've come back all this way. Are you happy with it? I'm, I'm happy with where I am and uh, I would love to uh, continue to play music and uh, sing songs and uh, hopefully uh, have it liked. That's good enough. Okay. You know, it's not a guarantee, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's a guarantee. It's the old one day at a time. And, uh -huh. and um, that's all it's supposed to be, I guess.